It all began with a request from house church leaders inside China. The 30,000 New Testaments we just delivered them were not enough. They wanted one million full Chinese Bibles, all at one time, all at one place. It was all we could do. We knew this was humanly impossible. Only God could do it. Paul Estabrooks has worked and lived with persecuted Christians for more than three decades. He has a deep understanding of the plight of Christians who suffer for their faith in restricted countries. He is a master at applying their experiences to our daily lives. An internationally acclaimed author, his book, Standing Strong Through the Storm, has been printed and distributed in more than 25 countries. When we in the West understand the heart of those who suffer for following Jesus, it gives us a fresh outlook for our own lives, and it changes our perspective on what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. As research manager for Open Doors Asia, Paul observed what Christians in the West were willing to risk to smuggle Bibles into China. He was then asked to coordinate the Million Bible Delivery. Night of a Million Miracles tells the story. Part spy thriller, part Mission Impossible. It's all true. China, the biggest nation in the world, and I began taking Bibles in, in 1965, just prior to the Cultural Revolution. And the more we took in, the more they said, bring us more. In the end, they said, give us one million Bibles. Well, the first question was, how could we do it? And then, could it really be done? And then we had the big question, where are we going to get a Christian crew that is willing to risk their lives? I'm sure that they know what one million was. They would not have asked, you see. And I didn't know how many one million is. I would not have said yes. How are we going to take 232 tons and deliver it without being seen? And then finally, where are we going to get the boats, the vessels to do this job? It was so big and bold that endeavor. We did it in one night. Time Magazine here says it was the boldest expedition that they have ever uh, witnessed in missions. And I'm glad we were part of it. We did it, but we did it in Jesus' name. On a bright, moonlit night, 200 miles up the China coast from Hong Kong, history was made. We call this effort Project Pearl, and here's why. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Everyone recognized that this precious pearl, this word of God, was worth sacrificing everything to share it with those who had none. This book changed China. This book will continue to change China. If we invest in the Word of God, it's the best investment we can make. Twenty ordinary men wanted to give this incredible miracle to believers across China, and they did it. Night of a Million Miracles. The story of the miracles and the God who did the utterly impossible. Read it now. Miracles do happen.